Kaiser Chiefs past record makes them the cup kings of South African football, but they are now in a third season without a trophy, adding much importance to the start today of their Nedbank Cup campaign. It was five years ago the Chiefs last won this trophy. They have a difficult start this afternoon against the tricky Le Montville Golden Arrows. Welcome everyone to uh, Soccer City on a bright and sunny Gauteng afternoon. Chiefs unbeaten in their last ten matches against their opponents from Durban. This is a good chance now to open the scoring. And the ball put left of the goal by the new man, Konko. And there was a player who was a couple of seconds late. It's Mulangwane because he was off position. As a result, you look at Ramatham Patera, they were overly stretched. And they just couldn't hit the target. And teams who were unlocked defensively, you can see the frustration from Itumel and Kune. So Khadebe will find Zulu on this left-hand side. This is uh, Meiwa getting an opportunity alongside Katsande. Good ball from Moon. Castro with a bit of skill. Castro continues. Castro's going to crack a shot. Forced the save from Mbaeva. Well, it's a new look. Castro we've seen uh, this afternoon. This is a player I, I felt right over the last 12 months has really been bereft of confidence, but he's turning it on today. Look at that. That's a player who seems to be enjoying himself. I guess he's had uh, too many injuries, and I, thought, I know it frustrates you as a striker. You can't play, you've been out for a long time. Yeah, here's a chance for Mahashi. Well, there were two players that he could have uh, put that ball square into their path. Instead, he goes with a tight angle with Kune coming out, and it's in the side netting. The what the disadvantages of having three at the back and when you get attacked in numbers you can un get unlocked by one pass and that's what happens floated towards moon they're all claiming the penalty and the referee completely disinterested he's given the free kick here against sabia for the challenge on changase but they all went up in unison there the kaiser chiefs players let's have a look oh yes was that hand natural position? Was it a deliberate handball? It's uh, Zava who delivered and Guadwena is going to try another long range shot. This time much better! That, I think, will go down as a superb save by Tumen and Kune. Well lined up. He places the ball. He didn't go for power. Well lined up. Good killer. What a save from Ito Melenkune. That's Sandra Patele rather. Back post chance. There's a goal for Moon. I don't think he knew much about it. But he's going to take it nevertheless. Hammered across the face of goal. And Kaiser Chiefs steering in the back of the net. That is sharp thinking from Ryan Moon. Look at how he steers this in. Puts yeah. his foot in the way. He says, I'll have that. Thank you. Lovely work. Chases on you. Paklene pushing forward. Gets the cross in. Oh, it's almost steering by Moon again. Off the woodwork. Stolen away here. Conco. Mutizwa waits. Mutizwa at the nine by a wonderful save by Tumene Kune. Instinctive from the goalkeeper. That's an excellent one. Kali beats Katsande, sliding challenge, gets the ball square. Mutizwa had already queued it up. He was probably thinking about his goal celebration. Bernard Parker, his first run out in Chiefs colours this year. He last played uh, just before the Christmas break in that one moment over Ajax. He's been battling a little bit with the ankle injury. And uh, Leonardo Castro is still working towards uh, full match fitness. Yes, Parker now around the keeper. It's finished for Kaiser Chiefs as he buries the second. And surely now they're moving on into the next round of the Nedbank Cup. Route one situation, vintage into Melenkune, not cleared properly. And the sniper comes in. Who? Bennett Parker paid off how oh, nicely done you had to go around the keeper yeah he had some work to do now Jappe oh what another magnificent save can you get 
the ball past this man. He is in fine form this afternoon. And he continues. Tested. Was tested earlier on and made a fine save. Again, he gets tested in situations where they need the last line of defense to come through for them. And he does into Malengune. Nice turn there from Exley. Buzzing now as Chiefs lead by two. Pakhane gets it square. Dummy and Moon. And then it's in the back of the net from Joseph Molongwane. And Chiefs have made it three. Gets a good pass. Delivers a great cross. The experience of Bennett Parker. That means that ball takes a deflection. And it is Molongwane who profits in the end. Dummy. Miss kick. Finished off by Mulangwane. Good day at the office for Kaiser Chiefs. The final score after uh, 90 minutes of action here at Soccer City. Kaiser Chiefs 3, Golden Arrows 0. Coach Steve, appreciate your time. Thoughts, please. Two different halves, first half, and naturally so. But the opponent is still fresh, and they can cope with anything you throw at them. And coaches have planned, have profiled coming into the match. Now, as you tweak and twist the match, then you need coaches to engage in live thinking, where they think on their feet based on the picture as it unfolds. But we're happy with how we performed and the goals we scored. And also compliment must not only be given to E2, the rest of the team as well, even though I thought we gave away possession far cheaply in some instances, we can improve on that. We need to play with more confidence because when you play with more confidence, your chances of being erratic are very less or minimal. We're happy with the, with the result going into the next round and uh, let's build from this and move on. In the words of your goalkeeper, Itumele Nkune, I quote, our first full five minutes was poor. We needed a tongue lashing from the coach in the dressing room, unquote. I'm, I'm, I'm a loving person. You, never, you, you, you can never lead if you don't love. And you can never lead them if you don't love them. It is no, it is no tongue lashing. It's tough love. If you love your kids and they, they commit some errors that are fundamental, you, you, you come across and rectify that. We don't fight with these brothers. It's just we correct one another. It be in a manner that is aggressive, uh, but sweet aggression in that manner. So I thought, I thought we, we rectified a few things. We, we were not who we were supposed to be first half, but we're delighted that some of the mistakes we, we, we committed in the first half we rectified, and we can build from that and let it be a lesson. You, you, you did not lose the first half, instead you learned from the first half. Now at the back of reading a book and learning lessons, what do you do in terms of moving forward? So the lessons you get in life, you carry along with you to become a better person. Thank you so much, Coach. Well done today. Thank you very much, Pulsu. Steve Compella walks away, shakes hands with Clinton Larson, the head coach of Abafana Bestandem, who is right with me here now. Coach, appreciate your time. Your thoughts, please. Well, Mlani, where do I start? Uh, first half, not many chances from, from Kaiser Chiefs. I think the one free kick uh, that caused us a problem from the left-hand side, and that was about it first half. I thought we had some good moments, some good box entries in the first half. Didn't capitalize um, fairly even at half at half time. And then um, second half, Nonyani gets injured at the corner flag. He goes over while the opponent tramped in his ankle, injured him. And uh, he goes back to try and mark. And as a result, couldn't be tight on Katsande, who peeled off because his ankle was hurting. And we concede from that. Second goal, calamitous defending. What can you say? Two players going for the same ball. We work on it. And uh, once the second goal goes in, uh, the tails are up and they start playing a bit. But we had some big chances even on this side. And uh, Kune got man of the match, so that says a lot. But proud. Uh, I don't think the scoreline is a true reflection of, of the game and the efforts that our team put in today. But I was happy with the, the young players we threw in. Uh, Yusuf Jappi looked very good when he came on. Uh, I thought he played some excellent passes. Young uh, Konko who started also first game in the Premier League debut. And Ndwandwe, you know, we gave the young an opportunity put a lazy in defense and they didn't disappoint and uh, I'm sure they'll only improve from this. I want to talk to you about the subs that you had to make because they were really forced substitutions. Yeah, the two were forced. Mahachi is injured uh, and Nonyan is injured. So, you know, once again, we, we move forward with, with more injuries. We we're hoping to get more players back, but uh, the situation has worsened. But yeah, uh, we'll keep uh, fighting. There's 10 league games to go now and we'll focus on that.